Imagine getting a call from the IRS threatening jail time unless you pay thousands in taxes you never owed. Or what if your bank account was drained because the guy who you just paid to prepare your taxes has disappeared, never to be heard from again? Scary, right? Today we're diving into the world of income tax scams and how you can spot them before they spot you. So, lace up your boots and get ready as we start this journey of the seven clues to spot income tax scams early. Clue number seven, social media tax advice. Now imagine you're scrolling through your feed and bam, there's this post about some killer tax advice. Looks legit, right? But hold up, taking tax advice from social media is like picking up a hitchhiker on a deserted road. It might be fine, but you could also end up in a world of trouble. The IRS isn't dropping tax wisdom in your DMs, so if you see something that sounds too good to be true, like dodging taxes with some fancy loophole, remember, it's probably as real as a $3 bill. Moving on to clue number six, unemployment fraud. Picture this, someone's out there, pretending to be you, filing for unemployment benefits. Next thing you know, you're getting a tax bill for money you never even saw. It's like a magician's trick, but the only thing disappearing is your peace of mind. Protect your personal info like it's a treasure chest. Keep an eye on your accounts, and if you spot something fishy, it's time to raise the alarm. Now, let's talk about clue number five, fake fuel tax credit claims. Here's the deal. Some smooth talker comes up to you saying you can claim big bucks on your tax return for fuel tax credits. Sounds great, right? But unless you're running a fleet of trucks or tractors, chances are you're not eligible. Falling for this is like buying a map to a buried treasure that doesn't exist. The only thing you'll dig up is trouble. Clue number four, get-rich-quick schemes. You've seen it, right? promises of turning your tax return into a gold mine. But let me tell you, the only one getting rich is the scammer. It's like a high stakes poker game and you're playing with a marked deck. Remember, if it sounds like you've hit the jackpot without even playing the slots, it's time to walk away. So we've covered some ground here, but the journey's not over. We've still got the top three clues to uncover and let me tell you, these are the big ones the masterminds of the scam world. So stay tuned, because what's coming next is where things really get interesting. Clue number three, shady tax preparers. Picture this, you walk into an office that looks legit. There's a guy there who says he can get you a refund that's bigger than your wildest dreams. But here's the catch, he wants a cut, or maybe he's asking you to sign a blank return and insisting that you add your banking details so that he can make sure you get your refund in the next 24 hours. It's like walking into a spider's web. Before you know it, you're stuck and he's wrapping you up for dinner. Always check the credentials of your tax preparer. If they're promising the moon, chances are they're going to take you for a ride and not the fun kind. So hold on to your hats. Because clue number two is a doozy, fake charities. Imagine you're feeling generous and want to give back a bit. Then you get a call or an email from a charity. They're tugging at your heartstrings, but guess what? That charity isn't real. It's like finding out the hero in your favorite story is actually the villain. I'm the homelander, and I can do whatever the fuck I want. These scammers are playing on your good nature to line their pockets. Always, and I mean always, do your homework before you open your wallet. A quick search can tell you if that charity is the real deal or just a wolf in sheep's clothing. Uh, sorry for stopping your video, but you really should subscribe. The number one clue to spot an income tax scam, phishing scams. This one's the kingpin of the scam world. You get an email, a text, maybe even a phone call. They say they're the IRS and they've got this urgent message just for you. Hello, this call is officially a final notice from IRS, Internal Revenue Service. The reason of this call is to inform you that. But here's the twist. The IRS doesn't roll like that. They're old school, they'll send you a letter. 
These fishing scams are like a con artist with a fishing rod and you're the fish. They're dangling bait waiting for you to bite. Don't take the bait. Don't click on links. Don't share your info. If you're unsure, reach out to the IRS directly. Better safe than sorry, right? The more you know about these scams, the better you can protect yourself. It's like having a map in a maze. You're one step ahead of the game. But the journey doesn't end here. It's time to arm you with the ultimate tools to spot these scams early and keep your hard-earned money safe. This is where you turn from the hunted into the hunter. First up, let's talk about unsolicited contact. Remember, the IRS is like that old friend who only writes letters. They're not going to call you out of the blue, send you an email, or reach out to you on Instagram. If you get an unexpected call or email claiming to be from the IRS, treat it like a red flag at a bullfight. Don't engage and don't give out personal information. Call their 800 number and confirm if they've sent you any form of written communication. You may have to wait on hold for a while, but it'll be worth it in the long run. Next, watch out for the red flags, threats of legal action, promises of unbelievable refunds and pressure to act quickly. These are the classic moves of a con artist. It's like a high-speed car chase, and you're the one being chased. You need to stay cool, keep your wits about you, and don't get cornered. If it feels wrong, it probably is. Let's talk about protecting your personal information. Your identity. It's like the most valuable painting in a museum, priceless and in need of top-notch security. Be cautious about what you share, especially online. Social media is a gold mine for scammers. They're like detectives, piecing together your life from what you post. Be smart, be private, and think twice before sharing. And if you need help with your taxes, choose your tax preparer like you choose a partner in a bank heist, carefully and with a lot of background checks. Look for credentials, ask for references, and never sign a blank return. A good tax preparer is like a co-pilot. They're there to help you navigate, not take over the plane. This one is the most important. Stay informed. Knowledge is your shield and sword in this battle. Sign up for monitoring services that will alert you whenever someone runs your social security number or tries to apply for benefits in your name. Also, use the IRS website like your training manual. Check it out and stay updated on the latest scams. Remember, in this world, you've got to be sharp, skeptical, and always on guard. It's like playing chess with a grandmaster. You need to think several moves ahead. 